Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can use Google API translation for free so you don't need an API key and you don't have to pay for it. First of all you have to visit this page. I will put the link in the video description. And let's look at it. Okay, first you need to install Composer. So we open this. As I'm running Windows, I choose the Composer Setup Exe and download it. Okay, now install it. Yes. Uh, you do need a local uh, server. I choose exempt in this uh, case. It's already running. So um, if you don't have XAMPP installed, install it first. So uh, Composer detected the XAMPP installation and I just click on next. Just remember that. Install. Okay, it's finished. So let's go back. Um, I'm going to my web folder. Uh, let's make a new folder here. RP translation. Okay. Uh, now we do need to install this uh, package, which we do by opening a command line at this path. You can uh, do it by right click and holding shift and it uh, shows this extra option to open a command window at this path. Of course you can also uh, manually navigate there. And now we just uh, copy this into our command line. Execute it. There's a little warning because my PHP is too old. I think I can ignore this because it's just a local server. Okay, now Composer has uh, installed this package. That's everything you need to do. Oops. Um, let's just copy this sample here. Create a new file. Translate.php. Yes. Edit it. Uh, just paste it here. Don't forget the PHP tags. And I am gonna translate from English to German. Let's translate. This is a chest. Okay. As I said, exam is already running. The server is running. Let's just go to local host. RP translation translate. And it shows this is ein Test, which is exactly the German translation. So, I hope this was helpful for you. Now I'm gonna uh, show you a second example. Uh, let's assume you do want to translate a whole set of strings. Um, for example, I have an XML file and I want to translate this. Prepare something here. Let's look at the file. Uh, this is from Android Studio, so just some strings. And I want to translate it into a few languages. So um, let's look at this file here. Um, you do have a, a, the source language with, this, with which is English. And you do have an array of target languages. Um, yeah, these are very uh, many languages. Maybe I just will go with German and French for this. Okay, 
uh, yeah, source language English, uh, source file, this is my strings XML file, and I'm gonna loop through the target languages array, and for each language I will open the source file. And for each string I will uh, translate it. So let's just execute this. This is my target uh, folder. And now I'm gonna call this strings XML transition strings XML translation PHP and execute it. So now we can see I created the strings XML for German and French. Um, yeah, let's have a look. And French. Okay, so English, German, French. If you do uh, translate a lot of strings in many languages, you will have to uh, set the PHP timeout uh, execution to a bigger value because this, the standard value in XM is, I think, 30 seconds and it can take up to 5 minutes or so if you do translate a lot. So, I hope this uh, helped you and have a nice day.